Johnson County Police Chief resigns without any explanation for taxpayers. But since the news broke in June, the 41 Action News investigators have been digging to get answers in Gardner. Our Ryan Cast joins us now live and uncovered the broken promise behind the top cop's sudden departure. When Jerry Collenberg took over the Gardner Police Force last summer, city leaders told us they immediately saw positive changes in the department. But then, suddenly, on June 2nd, the police chief was gone. What was the public reaction that you received after that? People were very confused. Mayor Chris Morrow said the city couldn't shed light on the resignation because it was a personnel issue. But 41 Action News has been working to get those answers. Here, here's the thing. I mean, we This had, January city council meeting uh, caught our attention. When the chief took the $98,000 job last year, it came with the requirement of moving to Gardner within six months. See, I've made every effort within my power to, to, to meet that deadline to be in the city. Cullumber had missed the deadline, but provided this rental lease at the meeting as proof he'd be moving in at the beginning of February. Even though the lease didn't have a rental amount, the chief made a promise. My word is good enough for federal district court, Johnson County District Court, and city court. I feel my word is good enough here. We decided to visit the neighborhood. I have not seen anyone at that house. Where neighbors like Courtney Ferris told us there'd been no sign of the city's top cop at this house. You think you'd know if the police chief was living right across the street? I think we would know if anybody was living across the street. We asked for the utility history for this house for the time period the chief was supposed to be living here. There was no charge for water usage. And not even enough electricity to keep the fridge running. What's your reaction to hearing that? I think that that is telling. Did the police chief ever move to Gardner? That's a good question and, and probably one that you should ask Jerry Cullender. We tried, calling and emailing for weeks, even paying a visit to his Baldwin City home. But the only word we have is the one the chief gave at this meeting. You have my contract between me and you that says I will be here in February. I will be here. What would you learn from this whole thing? Verify uh, the, the things that you're being told, even from the people whose integrity you high, hold in high esteem. And this does come at a cost to taxpayers. There was an extensive nine-month recruiting process before hiring Columber last year. And now city leaders are hiring a national firm for at least $16,000 to help them find the next chief. Investigator Ryan Kath, 41 Action News.